And we gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. As we gather here this morning as God's family with confidence, we call upon our Heavenly Father, knowing of His mercy and of His compassion. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have slightly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, and in my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And let us pray. Show gracious favor, O Lord, we pray, to the works of penance we have begun, that we may have strength to accomplish with sincerity the bodily observances we undertake. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in unity the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord God, Cry out, full-throated and unsparingly. Lift up your voice like a trumpet blast. Tell my people their wickedness and the house of Jacob their sins. They seek me day after day and desire to know my ways, like a nation that has done what is just and not abandoned the law of their God. They ask me to declare what is due them, pleased to gain access to God. Why do we fast and you do not see it, afflict ourselves, and you take no note of it. Lo, on your fast day you carry out your own pursuits and drive all your laborers. Yes, the fast ends in quarreling and fighting, striking with wicked claw. Would that today you might fast so as to make your voice heard on high. Is this the manner of fasting I wish of keeping a day of penance? that a man bow his head like a reed and lie in sackcloth and ashes? Do you call this a fast, a day acceptable to the Lord? This, rather, is the fasting that I wish, releasing those bounds unjustly, untying the thongs of the yoke, setting free the oppressed, breaking every yoke, sharing your bread with the hungry, sheltering the oppressed and the homeless, clothing the naked when you see them, and not turning your back on your own. Then your light shall break forth like the dawn, and your wound shall quickly be healed. Your vindication shall go before you, and the glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. Then you shall call, and the Lord will answer. You shall cry for help, and he will say, here I am. The word of the Lord. Thanks, God. A heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. A heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness. In the greatness of your compassion, wipe out my offense. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt and of my sin cleanse me. A heart contrite and humble, Lord, you will not For I acknowledged my offense, and my sin is before me always. Against you only have I sinned, and done what is evil in your sight. A heart contrite and humble, Lord, you will not For you are not pleased with sacrifices, should I, burn, should I offer a burnt offering, you would not accept it. 
My sacrifice, O God, is a contrite spirit, a heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. A heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. Please stand. <laughs> Seek good and not evil, so that you may live, and the Lord will be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. The disciples of John approached Jesus and said, Why do we and the Pharisees fast much, but your disciples do not fast? Jesus answered them, Can the wedding guests mourn as long as the bridegroom is still with them? For the days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them, and then they will fast. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Tradition holds that during the season of Lent on Fridays, we focus on fasting. Our scripture, our thoughts are supposed to be about the notion of fasting. And our readings today clearly question, put the question before us. How are we fasting? Most of us take that as maybe doing without so much food, without eating meat. But today in this generation, in this time, many people do that every single day. Where is the fast in that? Many of us give up food or meat and then go out and have lobster. Where's the sacrifice in that? Ultimately, we need to ask ourselves, what are we truly fasting? Where is the hunger that comes from our fast? Perhaps maybe we're being challenged not to so much to focus on food, but maybe fasting from our ideals of having to be in control, having things to be done a certain way, our pride, our prejudices, our desire for this and a desire for that. Where does the hunger in us truly lie? Our God has said, this is the fasting that I would rather wish. Releasing those who are unjustly, untying the thongs of the yoke, setting free the oppressed, breaking every yoke, sharing your bread with the hungry, sheltering the oppressed with homeless, who are homeless, gathering the, clothing the naked when you see them, and not turning your back on your own. How does our fasting compare to what God is asking? And I invite you to stand. And we turn to our God with our needs and our desires as we pray for our church, for our Holy Father, our bishops, and all the women and men who serve in the name of Jesus Christ. For them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let's pray for lasting peace and justice throughout our world. To end the war, terrorism, and racism. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray that we may be truly mindful of our call to fasting, desire for that knowledge of our hunger and what it is that we truly should hunger for. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Continue to pray for an end to the pandemic. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Pray for all those who are sick, hospitalized, and homebound, and all the doctors, nurses, and family members entrusted with their care. For them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Pray for all those who have died, those who will die today, and particularly those who will die alone. For them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let's take a moment and silently pray for our own attention. We pray for all our intentions, including the intentions of the Domen family and James R. Schof III. For these, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
Good and gracious God, we make known to you our needs and our desires, those we speak aloud and those we speak in the silence of our hearts. We ask that you grant them, for we ask them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread that we offer, the fruit of the earth, the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God and blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine that we have, fruit of the vine, the work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God and praying, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of His name. We offer, O oh Lord, the sacrifice of our Lenten observance, praying that it may make our intentions acceptable to you and add to our powers of self-restraint. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For through our bodily fasting, you restrain our faults, raise up our minds, and bestow both virtue and the rewards through Jesus Christ. And through him, the angels, in praise your majesty. The dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven are blessed to the seraphim, worship together with exaltation. So may our voices, we pray, join with theirs in our humble praise as we now acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, o Lord, the fount of our holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. And let us proclaim the mystery of our faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that by partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Oscar, our Bishop, and all the clergy and religious. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them in to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
And together now, let us pray for the coming of God's kingdom as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into the temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. But not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will. For you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of that peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. And I invite you to be seated. And as become our custom, we'll begin over here in the Side section there, we'll go through the back row, third row, the second row, first row, sanitizing your hands, extending your hands, coming to the blue spot there, demasking, consuming, and remasking on that spot, and returning back to your seats that way.
and let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that through partaking of this mystery, we may be cleansed of all our misdeeds, and so be suited for the remedies of your compassion, through Christ our Lord. Amen. And bow your heads and pray for God's blessings. For your mighty deeds, O God of mercy, may your people offer endless thanks. And by observing the age-old disciplines along their pilgrim journey, may they merit to come and behold you forever. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Master, this morning has come to its end. May we go in peace to love and to serve our Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a wonderful day. Thank, Thank you, Father. Father.